Hello and welcome. This is Terry Van Oy. Welcome to this uh, video lesson about um, factoring. This is a viewer challenge and this problem was sent in by someone on my YouTube channel and and basically is going to involve a binomial here where you have to look for a GCF and you do have some higher exponents higher than the usual squared or cubed pattern. So what I want to do is have you pause the video and give it a try and see if you can get it right. We're factoring that Go ahead. All right, let's hope that you tried this. We're going to look at our two coefficients, the 10 and the 5, first of all. And we want to ask, what is the largest common factor there? Well, it's got to be a 5. So we're going to put a 5 on the outside. And then we look at the exponents of the x's and the y's. So here we have x to the third. Here we have x to the second. What's the largest group of x's that's common in both? Well, it looks like it'll be x squared. So we're going to put that on the outside also. y to the seventh, y to the fourth. Okay, the largest group that's common is y to the fourth. So I'm going to squeeze that in there. Hopefully you can see that. And then I have to ask, what is the remaining factor? So if I divide a 5 into 10, that'll give me a 2 coefficient on the inside. If I divide x squared out of x to the third, that'll leave one remaining x. I don't have to put a 1 there. And then y to the fourth divided into y to the seventh would be y to the third. That's the part that's left over. Here I divide the 5 into a 5, and that's a 1, but we don't really have to write that. x squared goes into x squared one time. X to the, or y to the fourth into y to the fourth is also one time. So it's not 0. Make sure you put a 1 to fill that space. So if I use the distributive property here and here, that would get us back to what we started with. All right, thanks for trying this factoring challenge, and thanks for watching.